Good morning, Sunday School. Here we are on this third Sunday of Easter. And today our theme is about seeing Jesus. Let's start with a prayer. Take a deep breath. Hmm. Thank you, God, for this time we have together today. I thank you for each of the children who are watching this morning, that they can be here and learn about you. We thank you for the stories you have given us through the years and brought down through your people so that we can learn them. Amen. So let's hear this story. It's a lot like one we heard last week, but this one was told to us by another person who saw something, some things a little bit different. So two of the disciples had been walking to a town that was seven miles away. Now, seven miles is a long way to walk, and seven miles from church would be about the Ventura Pier, imagine. And not only did they walk all the way to that town, but they met Jesus there and were so excited that they turned around and raced back all the way to Jerusalem, where their friends were. Hey, you guys, they said, and they were so excited about telling them. Jesus has risen, and we saw him. And just as they were waving their arms in the air to describe what had happened, in walked Jesus. Jesus said, peace be with you. And then when Jesus saw that his friends were kind of scared, he said, here, touch me, and you will know that it is really me. Then since Jesus also had walked those seven miles, he said, have you got anything here to eat? The disciples scrambled and found some broiled fish to feed the hungry Jesus. So they all sat down and had some fish. Now we all sit down sometimes and have communion in church. We haven't done it together for a while, but we did have communion on Easter Sunday. We don't have fish and bread, but it reminds us also of the feeding of the 5,000, the loaves of bread and fish that were spread among the people, and they were all fed. And so the fish became a symbol of the people who followed Jesus. And so today, the activity is to draw a fish and do it in the dirt. Now, this might be easier at the beach or if you have a sandy place or a dirt place in your backyard, but this was a way that they might have let others know that they were followers of Jesus. And it was a way they could do it in a safe way, not where they might be in trouble for that. And so I want to show you how to do that. So I'm going to ask you to watch on this piece of paper and I'm going to put a dot down here and I'm going to draw a line up and just down a little bit like that. And then I'm going to make another dot. And I'm going to draw a line down and draw it like that. Kind of looks like a fish, right? And so you would do one side with your toe and then come back here and do the other side with your toe. Now, on the paper in your newsletter this week, there are letters, too, that remind us about being followers of Jesus, this I-X-O-Y-E. And they're Greek letters. And in Greek, the language, those letters actually mean ethos, which means fish. But it was also meant to identify Jesus. So Jesus Christ, Son of God, our Savior. So that's what those words would have meant to those reading those letters. So you can have your parents print out the paper that's in your newsletter and use it to see how to make that design in the dirt and or draw those letters in that order. Whatever you do, have fun doing it. Color it, make it whatever you'd like it to be. Remember to this week, that Jesus tells us, peace be with you. That's something we can say to people all the time. Peace be with you. And if you haven't ever drawn a peace sign, I want to show you how to do that too. 
<clears throat> so actually, um, it's a, you draw a circle first. Circle, just a circle. And then you make an upside down Y. My upside down Y. And then you take that middle line and you bring it to the bottom. That's a peace sign. You can make a peace sign. I know you can. So try that too as part of your picture. Let's end with some prayer. Oh God, we thank you for bringing us together today, for helping us to learn to identify those who follow Jesus, to know what the word means, I-X-O-Y-E, Ichthus, or Jesus Christ, Son of God, our Savior. We can share the peace that you bring us with everyone we meet. We pray today for those who are sick and for those who care for them, for doctors and caregivers, for first responders, police and firemen, for all those who need healing on this day. Be with each of us this week, O oh Lord, as we remember to be safe and stay healthy as we go about our days, whether we're back in school or we're doing school at home sometimes, be with us and help us to remember that your peace is always with us. In the name of your son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. We here at St. Paul's love you and miss you, and we hope that you are well. Be safe. Stay well. Wear that mask. <laughs>